In other news this morning, 13th congressional candidates Ann Callis and Rodney Davis squared off in a debate last night on the UIS campus addressing local, national, and international issues. There were a few heated exchanges in the debate, which was co-sponsored by WUIS Radio and the AARP, especially when Davis and Callis talked about the number of attack ads that are currently airing. Both vigorously denied the claims made against themselves, but they also did not back down on the claims they've made. The debate focused on a wide variety of issues, but but like nearly every race we're covering right now, the focus was on the economy, jobs, business growth, and minimum wage. Davis says he'd be in favor of a raise if it comes with tax reforms for businesses. Callis says there should be no conditions. There's no one who's in a minimum wage job right now, flipping burgers like I used to and shucking french fries like I used to. They don't want to stay there. They want to achieve the American dream like my dad did and like many of you in this room had the opportunity to do. $7.6 billion per year will be added to our economy if we raise the minimum wage and 27 million American lives will be improved if we may raise the minimum wage. It's time we do it incrementally and unconditionally. The theme for Davis, he's accomplished a lot in his time in office and that should continue for Callis. She says she was a reformer as a Madison County judge, and now it's time to reform Washington, D.C. The hour-long debate included questions from a panel and from the audience. Both Davis and Callis were well-prepared, said they're running for their children, and shared a few laughs as well.